hey, I'm just... Ah, uh, sorry. Only NYPD passes the point. You must be new here. I'm actually... I know exactly who you are, but like I said, only NYPD passes the point. This... They're, they're right there. These are my people right here. Hey, guys. It's okay, Sully. We got it. Thanks. Hey, Castle. <laughs> Who's that guy, right? Uh, that is Detective Grant Sullivan. As much as we miss Beckett, it's nice to have a new guy to boss around. Nice. What are you doing here, bro? Well, you would know if you would have answered my call. I must not have heard a ring. You rejected it on live television. Look, guys, look, I am big enough to overlook that and still offer to help you guys out. A bus out. This is a high-profile case, and I am willing to let you guys exclusively benefit from my out-of-the-box, crime-solving mind. And what do you get? Escape from the life in the loft. Uh, sorry, Castle. Gates were to find out. She won't. She won't find out. I happen to know she's... She's at a conference in Florida, so... You won't even know I'm here. <laughs> a washed-up sitcom star dangling from a hook? Does it get any better? I grew up watching this show. Charlie Reynolds is highly underrated as an actor. Too cool for school is a timeless gem. I seriously doubt that. Not that I've ever watched him. Mr. Castle, you're back, but not by popular demand. Good to see you two promoters. Do you have a time of death for us? Uh, between 7 p.m. and 2 a.m. The cause is obvious. He plummeted off the roof and landed on the hook. Possible suicide. Based on the crane's distance from the building and signs of struggle on the roof, he was pushed. What's Charlie Reynolds doing on the roof in the first place? It's a good question. He actually owns an apartment in the building, but he wasn't living here. Every unit's been stripped down to the studs, so he was staying in a sublet. Any family or next of kin? On a TV show, yes. In real life, not so much. Well, whatever he was doing here, I've got unis canvassing, seeing if anyone saw him or anyone else last night in the area. Hmm. I wonder what this means. Nine digits. Well, given he was pushed off a roof and landed on a hook, I'm saying that is not his lucky number. Yo, Sully. Yeah. Check out this number and see how it connects with our victim. And let's start piecing together where he was before he wound up here. I'm on it. Meantime, I checked his voicemail. He had a bunch of angry messages yesterday from some chick. Said she would kill him if he didn't call her back. Said she would not be ignored. Uh-huh. A classic rabbit boiler. Stalker, gentlemen. An obsessed fan. Do we know who the caller is? Uh, I traced the number to an address downtown. Uh, name is... Uh, Geraldine Powers. Ger Geraldine Powers, yeah. I bet she even has a creep 